Hey, what's up? It's Roy here. So today let's talk about a real Apple Watch band for my Apple Watch Ultra versus a fake watch band for my Apple Watch Ultra. So the one on the left is the real one. It's 99 bucks on Apple's website. This is the fake one, $8.99 on Amazon. So 100 versus nine. So is it worth spending $100 on a watch band for your Apple Watch Ultra? Or is it okay just to jump on Amazon and scoop up something that's like 10 bucks? So hopefully I can answer that question for you in today's video. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing I wanna do is actually compare what the watch bands come in, cause I think it's hilarious. So the genuine one comes in this really fancy schmancy box, right? You got the picture of the watch band here. And then when you open it up, it looks like, uh, you know, just looks very nice, right? You got the pictures here showing you how to install it, all that. This is what the $9 one came in. <laughs> so very laughable, very just cheap packaging here. Nothing fancy. It literally just came in one of those little Amazon bags, but it was prime shipping. So that's good. But like I said, huge difference. Now, I don't know if it's still worth spending an extra $90 to get the nicer packaging, but you can tell me down in the comments if you feel that way. But let's go ahead and look at them side by side. I'm gonna put the watch to the side here. So looking at them side by side, you can see some, some key differences almost right off the bat. So one is that these little clasp here that goes into it, it just feels like a higher quality material. Um, this one just feels a little bit lighter. This one's a little more darker, like a space gray, and this was a little more silver, but in different lighting, they're similar, but you can definitely tell this is a little bit darker. The portion here is also that same material versus just a cheaper black plastic. So you can see the differences there. And then looking at the actual loops, on the Apple Watch band, it's very um, puffy. So what I mean by that is it does have that ripple effect going on very nicely. So when you do put the portion in to try to clasp it in, it does fit in a little bit easier. With the fake one, it's close, but it's not exactly the same. So if you're looking at them, you can definitely tell that this one just sticks out a little bit more versus this. They do tend to get a little bit flatter. But once again, is it worth an extra 90 bucks? You be the judge. But looking at it, that's kind of the material. The genuine one does have a little bit better feel to it. Even like on the back here, the, the back feels a little bit better. Just obviously well made, a little bit better constructed. Where the back here, um, it feels a little bit cheaper. But once again, it's nine bucks, so you get what you get. But you can kind of see how they look and differ there. Uh, even like right up here where these meet, you can kind of see that the genuine Apple one is a little bit more reinforced looking there. Whereas opposed to this one, it's just the same material. This one has that little bit extra reinforcement there. And then looking at the bottoms here, you can see once again, uh, a little bit higher grade materials versus just the cheap black plastic there. As far as just looking at them side by side, I think that Yes, the genuine Apple Watch one is better for sure, but is it that much better to spend literally $90 more? As far as the install goes, uh, the install process is pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and let's go and just install the genuine one real quick. So once you got it on, boom, there we go. Slide it on there. So once it's installed, it fits very nicely. And then whenever I'm, you know, tighten it up, get it to that desired part, and then slide in the loop. There we go. So once it's installed, it feels very nice. The Alpine loop though, can be a little cumbersome because it just really, it's, it's a very sensitive um, install. And what I mean by that is it might feel good, and then once you start to put it on and you start pulling it up, I just feel like sometimes it's just, okay, it should have been this one, but it needed to be this one, but this one feels a little loose, this one feels a little tight, so I wish there was a way to kind of get right in that middle, but first time doing it right now, it feels very good. So, But that's the look of the Alpine Loop 
which is the genuine one. And then the way to uninstall it on my wrist is, you know, you can push it out like so. That's another thing that the Alpine loop is a little buggy sometimes for me is that, you know, you kind of have to play around with it sometimes to get it out because the way that that is right there and it loops down, um, it is harder to get out because as you can see here, this one's a little bit skinnier. So this one's a little bit easier to get off my wrist. And the way to uninstall it, just push the buttons, slide off. Very, very simple stuff. Now let's do the fake one. So doing the fake one here, let's go ahead and put the bottom on first. We'll do this one first, or do this one next. There we go. And then now for the install. So similar install process. So I will say though that this one feels stretchier. So when I am putting it on, it does feel a little bit better, which is weird to say, but it does feel better installing it on my wrist and tightening it up because this one gives a little bit more. So it's a little bit stretchier. It's not so rigid. I mean, not saying that that one's rigid, but I'm just trying to say that that one's stiffer than this one. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but when I have it installed, it does feel better on my wrist, which is probably the most important part. And then whenever I uninstall it, I like that this one stretches a little bit more because then I can literally just start to pull and then take it off pretty easily. And then the way to pull it out makes it a lot easier too, because since these aren't as puffy as those, if that makes sense, it does slide through this portion here a lot smoother. But I really like both of the watch bands. For the conclusion, I don't know if it's really worth spending $100 on the genuine one when there's so many watch bands out there that are gonna give you a similar experience. And like I said, I think in my opinion, the biggest part of the install is putting it on my wrist. And with this one giving me a little bit more flex, I think that this one is a better watch band in that sense. But all in all, this one's much better in general. Like this is a Lexus and this is a base, base model Toyota, right? So similar from the same manufacturers, even though they're not, but trying to come up with an analogy there that makes sense. But like I said, for nine bucks, this is a steal in my opinion, if you're going after that Alpine Loop look and the same brand of watch band makes all of the different Apple Watch ones and they have different colors, all that. So for nine bucks, I think it's well worth the money if you're looking to get something other than green, gray, or the orange. So yeah, I think it's definitely worth nine bucks, guys. So you let me know, what do you think? Do you think that it's worth spending a hundred bucks and getting a genuine one or not spend a hundred bucks and buy maybe four or five different colors and still be under half the price of what this is. So hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless. We'll see you on the next one.